Hey everyone, my name is David Dunbar, or the Theme Park Evangelist. Unless I can think of another YouTube video that I can discuss this afternoon before I go over to light up the fair in Burlington, Kentucky this evening, I think I've pretty much got everything covered. I did my super long vlog. I always like to do a really cool, awesome discussion topic a week if possible. Otherwise, like, every two weeks. But, anyway. Um, this afternoon's vlog is going to be the main vlog until Wednesday, Thursday. And then I'm going to switch it over to checking out Light Up the Fair in Burlington, Kentucky. And that will be my last Christmas vlog in the area. And the last Christmas vlog period until I go up to Canada. And then you guys will just have to patiently wait, unfortunately, until I get up there. So, with that being said, I just kind of wanted to discuss what to kind of expect with my YouTube channel. This, um, uh, that is in the future. This won't take as long as the first one. My first one is usually my longest one because I always like to give everybody that super long one to kind of watch and kind of scratch your heads about or just something really interesting and then I usually will give you a much 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 shorter ones after that so the second one I did was super short and this one is kind of kind of be 15 20 minutes or so give or take but we're finally coming to Christmas time and initially I wasn't planning on doing any vlogs next week like, if I had stayed home here in Kentucky, then I wouldn't have done any vlogs whatsoever. However, though, I'm going to be going to Canada for Christmas, which means that, yes, there will be some sort of vlog next week, or at least two or three. So, I'm, as of right now, the plan is I'm supposed to be leaving next Thursday for Canada. I'm going to get the COVID test the night before. We're going to attempt to cross the border and, uh, or, or, well, I'm going to attempt to cross the border is what I'm trying to say. And then the plan after that is stay at my grandmother's house, uh, probably do some shopping in this area called Niagara on the Lake. It's a really cool area that's not too far from my grandmother's house. And, um, there's a really cool shopping do it there. Might try to go see the falls. Uh, definitely gonna attend a, uh, Christmas Eve service, candlelight service the next night. Gonna look for a church in the area, probably look it up somewhere online, see if there's anywhere that we, um, that I can go. Um, probably do some family Christmas traditions that I normally would do every single year on Christmas Eve. It's going to be kind of weird because I'm going to be doing it up in Canada and not here like I normally would. So say, for example, if I was here, which I normally go from work to church, then I would uh, come back here and stuff my face with junk food for the rest of the night and then watch It's a Wonderful Life until I get too tired. And then I would go to bed, wake up in the morning, and then I would start with opening the stockings and reading the Bible, eating breakfast, well, Luke chapter 2 to be specific, and then we would, all four of us would open presents, and then eventually we'd have Christmas dinner and then dessert, and pretty much just sit around and relax, probably watch a movie or something, but that's not going to happen this year, not at all, so... And I'm honestly not used to having Christmas Eve like, fully available all day. I'm just going to be like, what am I going to do with myself, you know? <laughs> well, at least this year I'm going to be traveling around, so it won't be as bad. But imagine next year I'm going to be like, oh, my word, what am I going to do with myself? So <laughs> I'm used to working. And then on Christmas Day, I'll do my usual, and then i got to make my way out to Western Ontario where we're going to have this big Christmas dinner me and my family, that is like extended family, my mom's side of the family, and then I'm going to be out there 
until the morning of the 28th, then I'm going to be coming back here so I can go back to work on the 29th. So, that is the current plan right now. But, you're probably wondering, well, what are you going to YouTube after that? Well, great, that, I'm glad you asked, because the Ark Encounter itself and the Creation Museum, for that matter... I hate these stupid Google Chrome notifications I constantly get. I need to disable that. Uh, the uh, Creation Museum and the Ark Encounter itself, or whatever... Uh, officially close Sundays through Tuesdays starting Sunday, January 2nd, 2022. So not too much longer from now, it's going to start to close like part of the year. That means that my dad will be off, my brother will be off, and I will be off. So I was considering at least one day of those days of the week, I would attempt to find somewhere where I can go YouTube, whether it's up in my room, AKA the den, my dad's computer room, which has been temporarily converted to a bedroom or whether my dad's out and about doing stuff. And I might have a chance to be here in the family room and all YouTube I'm also going to be using that time to work out um, at my parents' gym. Actually, it's like right next door. So I was going to use that opportunity to kind of get in shape and ready for uh, Central Florida so I can fit on Hagrid's finally. And that when that lap bar tries to come down, this thing is not in the way. Uh, try to get on, you know, a lot of those roller coasters at Kings Island. Maybe I can eventually fit on those. Maybe a 2XL will actually be too big on me and I can shrink down to an extra large, that would be nice. Because right now, I technically wear a 3XL, which is not good. And I still, thankfully, fit into a 46 waist size. So that says something a lot about my size. So I'm going to be attempting to YouTube once a week. I'm going to be working out and probably going to go off and see my brother at least once a week, if not twice a week, spend the night, play video games. I'm actually legitimately excited for winter personally because it will be a nice time to relax, unwind, play a lot of games, get some exercise, going to be working on my YouTube channel. I mean, come on. I got exactly two months to do this. I might even go get a Cincinnati Zoo membership. You never know. And go get some more exercise doing that. And when we can go YouTube the animals together. And who knows what I might do this winter. So that's the current plan. Also, I was going to attempt to save money. It's not going to be so easy when I'm not going to be making as much. But you have no idea how excited I am for this. I literally am going to be working one more final stretch of insane days and I have to tell myself this like I forgot to mention this to TJ too when I was telling him this next nine days is going to be the most crucial nine days I've ever worked like ever I and I know that sounds crazy it's nine days till I'm off again nine days until I go on vacation nine days until I get a my first break in several months. And then after that, when I get back from vacation, I only have to work two days and then our hours literally reduce just like that. And then we, uh, start closing on Sundays through Tuesdays. So I am just trying to push myself and tell myself, I know I can do this. I know it's not going to be easy. I know my body is going to be screaming at me in just a matter of days. But I have to tell myself, David, you can do this. Because the winter is coming very quickly. Your vacation is coming very quickly on top of that. So, you know, just please pray for me if you believe in the power of prayer. Because I really could use it right now. As, uh, I go back to work tomorrow. But at the same time, it's like... You know what? It's all going to be worth it in the end. Because I got two whole months. 
that we can literally just sit here and brainstorm different awesome discussion topics together. And I can really start pouring my faith out towards you guys. That actually reminds me, that might be my last YouTube video. I might talk about something faith-related. But give me a couple of minutes to think about it, what I want to talk about. And then I also want to use that time to just period rest and just get ready. And hopefully when the spring comes, like get ready for like the next busy season. Hopefully when the spring comes, I will, Lord willing, be able to leave culinary, which I'm not as passionate about. It's not that I hate anybody I work with. It's not that I hate how it's run because I love the manager. I appear to do love the manager that's running the department. I I consider him a good friend. I love everybody I work with. I love Tristan, and I know he's my uh, number one subscriber, and I expect him to be watching this. And there's a lot of stuff that I would miss about being in culinary, like the free food. I'm not gonna lie. If I said that I'm gonna miss the free, that I'm not gonna miss the free food, that would be a lie. That's what I'm trying to say, because I know I would miss the free food. <laughs> That's definite. <laughs> so, yeah, it's not gonna be an easy thing to do. But you know what? At the end of the day, I'm truly looking forward to this and um you know hope being hopefully willing or able to uh leave culinary and don't forget when spring comes that's also around the time a lot of things will be opening and if you guys are not aware um spring of course starts slightly early in central florida so even though I will be on winter break, so to speak, from work, it will still it will be uh, transitioning into spring down in Central Florida. Even though they're still technically in winter, so late February, I will be going to um, Central Florida, of course. So that will be just before the end of my uh winter portion of my youtube channel which you guys might think oh david's gonna be talking about winter relay stuff at uh disney world and stuff like that not necessarily this is our my time to talk to you guys about stuff that i've been wanting to talk to you guys about for quite some time but i just haven't really had the time considering I've been working my butt off so hard, just trying to get through the holidays. Like, actually, one... I I thought of something I would like to talk about in my, ne in my last YouTube video that was related to my faith. And this is also related to Christmas. My next YouTube video is going to talk about... And this also kind of has to do with my uh, church sermon from yesterday. Anyway... Have you guys ever, you know, felt like you're getting distracted from the true purpose of Christmas? Or have you ever stopped and looked at Christmas from a certain perspective and you're not keeping Jesus as the number one reason for the season? Or you don't even think that Jesus should be the number one reason for the season? Well... For my uh, YouTube video this um, today, regarding that, I wanted to talk to you guys about how I'm allowing work to, not that I'm, well, not that I want it, but I, had, I kind of got pushed into that situation, but the whole reason is because work kind of makes, it doesn't matter where you are. Even if I were at Meyer, it would still be happening. At least I'm in a Christian organization. But the whole point is, I'm allowing work to consume me to the point where my main focus right now is my job and just trying to get through the holidays and just trying to be able to come. Like today is my first time I've been able to come up basically for a fresh air and a while. And 
I'm basically going to be pushed right back into the uh, water again, struggling for that breath of fresh air. And when the time finally does come for me to go to Canada, I'll finally be able to come up for fresh air again and go, Oh, I can breathe. I can relax. I'm free. <laughs> it's going to be one of those things, so. I'm I'm truly excited about uh, going to Canada, and it's it's hard for me to get so excited about it at work when I'm so consumed by work that all I think and breathe and do is work related. Like the moment I even come to work, I'm thinking about work. I'm messaging managers. Our managers are messaging me, and I'm you know, interacting with the guests, trying to make them happy, trying to make sure everything is restocked, then I get done, then I have to go and clean the kitchen, and by the time I get done with work, I come home, and I'm exhausted, I just go to bed, I do it all over again the next day, so that's why I need the prayer right now, because I'm going to be doing that for nine days straight, but we will get through this. Every single one of us that are uh, dealing with something like that. So, after the whole Central Florida trip. So, my Central Florida Vlog 2022 is going to be the main focus of next year. And then we'll be going into celebrating Kings Island's 50th anniversary. Which is kind of the start of the spring season up here. I'll be... Uh, definitely spending a lot of time next year talking about Kings Island's 50th. Um, of course, I'll be doing construction updates at the Ark Encounter and the Creation Museum next year. Uh, literally, right after I vlogged at the Ark Encounter, not that long ago, they started construction on a brand new carousel for the kids to ride. I don't know if it's going to cost money or not, but we'll see. But they are working on it. And it should be open by next summer. And that's just part of the phase for the 10-year uh, anniversary. Because a lot of the stuff that they're working on right now is trying to be get done before they turn 10. And uh, 2026. So they still have like four more years or so. So they got time. But um, Another thing that I'm really looking forward to next year at the actual beginning of 2022, I got to send TJ $100 so he can uh, basically make a deposit for our 30th birthday. We're going to go on um, a cruise for our 30th birthday at the beginning of 2023, and then we're talking about flying out to California to go see Disneyland, maybe, and try to go out to see... My good friend Brian Brown in Nevada. And then we would like to go to Universal Hollywood in uh, early 2024 as well. So that's something else that we were discussing last night. But, you know, this is all stuff years from now. But back to 2022. Um, this summer I'll be spending or I'll be vlogging Kings Island's events. Try to go see Soak City. I would like to go walk around it. They shouldn't be requiring reservations anymore. I think they finally did end that, like, at the end of this year, at the end of the summer. So, I would like to go walk around and show you guys what it looks like. Finally, I have not done it yet, and I've been living here for two years now. So, I think, you know, since three is a magic number, why not go and vlog Soak City for my very first time next year and just go show you guys what it looks like. Uh, of course, go vlog haunt again, Wonderfest when the time comes. Anything that the Creation Museum of the Ark Encounter is going to be doing. Uh, I'll be going to the Cincinnati Zoo quite a bit. I think next year I'm just going to be focusing generally and completely on saving up money, getting my own place. That's something else I would like to show you guys. My new place when I finally do get it. Whether my brother and I move back in together is beyond me. Getting out of my parents' place. As much as I love them, I know that they uh, need their privacy again and I need mine. So I would like to get back on my own again. And then just really working on my relationship with Jesus Christ. And seeing, do I really feel like God's calling me to go in the ministry? And 
if I do, then trying to find that Bible college. And that's the thing I would like to do over the winter is uh, start looking into local Bible colleges around here, even Bob Jones University, who Answers in Genesis is affiliated with. So it looks like it's going to be another really interesting year. And, of course, the other main vlog that I am going to be doing next year is actually going to be in September of 2022. So, also in the fall, instead of Kay coming up here, since we're not really on speaking terms as of right now, uh, TJ has expressed some high interest in coming up here, showing his current girlfriend like they're going to stay together until that point. But you know what? I'm, I appreciate his optimism. I really do. Showing his girlfriend the uh, Ark Encounter. And then we're all going to go down to Dollywood and Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. And we're going to do a big vlog down there. And I'm going to show you guys everything that's going to go on. So this is official um, information. I will eventually request the time off. Just not right now. Since it's still too early. They can't really say no to late September. I'm still waiting on the dates. That's why I'm not... Uh, requesting the time off. And we really want to do Dollywood and Pigeon Forge next year, but we're not doing it in December because obviously that wouldn't be a good idea considering December just period is a hard time to get time off. But late September after 40 days and 40 nights is over again. So they're bringing it back to the Ark Encounter. And it's usually over by mid-September. So the... Uh, the whole idea is to go after that, so it will be nice and slow, and it will be right before tour bus season, so I know for a fact that I have the uh, ability to get away without hurting the Ark Encounter. Anyways, I'm going to take a quick break, and then I'm going to come back and talk to you guys about how you can keep Jesus as the number one reason for Christmas, even when, you know, there's all this chaos going on right now with whatever you're dealing with this Christmas season, I know that the pandemic is still going on, but everybody is dealing with some kind of chaos that is preventing them from keeping Jesus as the number one reason for celebrating Christmas this year. And... Don't let it be about someone else. Let it still be about God number what no matter what. I'm gonna help you guys with that. So always remember you can do all things through Christ's strength and zeal. Have a great day. Peace out.